rich history of this place owes much of its geographical location. Located in the borderlands, the gateway from the Carpathian Mountains to the lowland plains, on the navigable Sand River, which of course created great trade opportunities. And that is why this town, Chemischl, grew up. I'm standing here in the Market Square in Chemischl at the beginning of our journey, a journey through history which takes us from the end of the Roman Empire to the end of the Second World War. A rich history of people, of buildings, of institutions. Join me on Poland Daily History as we see Chemischl above ground and below ground. I'm standing here on the tower of Chemisel Castle, a castle built by King Casimir the Great in 1340. But and I'm, we're joined by Carol Kitzman, who is a historian with the National Museum of the Chemisel region. Carol, thank you for joining us. Thanks. There's been a settlement in this region since about the 8th century. But Carol, could you tell us, starting from the 8th century, what happened next between then and the period way of the castle. The city of Przemyśl, which is an exceptional city, is said to be one of the oldest cities in Poland. Some may argue that it is the oldest city. When exactly was it established? The answer to this question poses some difficulties. It is said that in the 8th century, Prince Przemysław founded the city. There is, of course, a legend associated with this. It says that the prince hunted a bear, and in the location where the bear was hunted, he decided to build a castle with a bear in the coat of arms. Because of this, you could say this information is correct. However, the first documented historical reference which says that Przemyśl already exists dates all the way back to the year 981, from the so-called Chronicles of Nestor. In them, there is a famous phrase, Włodzimierz went towards the Poles and occupied their castles, Przemyśl, Herven and other castles. Włodzimierz was the Ruthenian prince. At this point, the city of Przemyśl is under Ruthenian rule. When the year 1018 comes, the city, along with the Red Boroughs, is taken back by the future Polish king, Bolesław I the Brave. It can be said that Przemyśl only briefly enjoyed freedom, including the Red Boroughs, as 13 years later, in 1031, Jarosław the Wise once again reclaims the Red Boroughs. Przemyśl once again is under the rule of the Ruthenian princes. Then, in the year 1069 or 1070, historians will always disagree, Bolesław II the Generous virtually occupies this area under the control of Poles after a year's siege of the city. At the end of the 11th century, in 1087, a separate kingdom of Przemyśl is established. This is strictly ruled by Ruthenian princes and lasts until the year 1340. Casimir the Great was the Polish king who met a wooden Poland and turned it to stone, hence why all of the castles built on Polish territory are associated with Casimir the Great. Over 200 years, the Ruthenians ruled the city of Przemyśl, and to show they once occupied this area, the church of Woda, the Ruthenian prince, was such evidence. It is an Eastern Orthodox church from the 13th century, although dated to the 12th century. The church served as a temple for the Roman Catholics until the construction of the Rhone Cathedral in 1460. 
The city of Przemysl is a unique city, and believe it or not, you will not find another city which during 1,000 years of its history had 98 separate wars. The castle itself, as it was mentioned earlier, was built in 1040, or after 1040, these contradictions arise here as well. When Casimir the Great returns from his expedition to Ruthenia, during which he meets with Bolesław Jerzy II and enters Przemysl, after which the construction of this castle takes place. Kasmir the Great, from what was documented, built 50 castles. Of course, it is known that he did not build them himself, and how many castles were in fact built will remain a mystery. And I think we can say that, that Kazimierz the Great was a prolific builder. As you said, he built 50 castles. Mm -hmm. And I think it, it, it said, isn't it, summed up of his reign that he, he found in Poland, he found a country of, made of wood, and when he died, he left a country built of stone. I think that, would you agree that's a fair assumption of his the contribution mm -hmm. he made to the building of, of fortifications and other buildings in Poland? Exactly. Casimir the Great was a great builder. The aforementioned castles suggest a great defense in 14th century Poland. However, if you were to go back before this castle was built, you would see a 11th century stronghold, something out of the early Middle Ages. This fortress was wooden, for example, when it comes to the palisade, the elements were wooden. In the center of the castle were a rotunda and and Palatium, which served as a palace and sacral complex. A treasury was located in the Palatium, as well as a room for the party, which was what the soldiers were called, Bolesław first the brave party. However, the rotunda is regarded as the oldest or one of the oldest temples to have been built on the premises of Przemysl. And the rotunda is now part of the cathedral. The rotunda is a part of the cathedral, but the one in the cathedral is younger, as it was the 12th, 13th century. However, the rotunda at the Przemysl castle is said to have been built in the first quarter of the 11th century, during the reign of Bolesław I the Brave. According to recent studies, it is rumored that Mieszka II was to heavily participate in the expansion of this rotunda. Today, in the courtyard, we can only see the outlines of what once were the foundations. It is only a contour which is to stimulate the imaginations of people coming to visit this unique place and see how this building was constructed. And in terms of, uh, can we see any, 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 more, any more fortifications of the, of the, of the, of the city? The fortifications here, which were associated especially with the Middle Ages, are the city walls. The walls arose in the 15th and 16th century, yet there certainly were embankments in the 14th century. The city of Przemysl was generally a town for defense and had three gateways, Lwowska, Grodzka and Wodna, as well as nine towers. An interesting fact is that in 1386, Władysław War established the so-called Corporation of Various Craftsmanship. This was an institution which aimed at educating craftsmen in any given field. In the event of an attack, everyone each of the craftsmen, each of the guilds, had to defend the tower of the surrounding city of Przemysl. This was perceived as something very special. I sometimes like to compare it to the Brotherhoods in Krakow, yet here it looked completely different. Thank <laughs> you.